Today, Arena with Namzi. Oh, this is gonna be fun. The Madman. We begin with the tempo so far. I can't believe Stormfight Commander is actually still this highly rated on the tier score. Eh, good old Bone Wraith. Eh, guess. Ooh, Evil Genius. Wow, that was a high score. I see Valley. Do we need even more cards as Warlock? Because it has synergy with Evil Genius, huh? Interesting. I think it's really close. I will go with Cult Master. I think it's really close. Hey, one mana, two, two. I mean, over the trash. Ooh, Shadow Council. I actually suspect that's actually good in Arena. And apparently it is. The Shadow Council dream can actually be real in Arena. That's a good wrap to go on. So, Plague of Flames for the mutual destruction. Hey, look, it's Savannah Jaime. Ooh, good combo with uh, Plague of Flames. Yeah, very nasty Broodmother. It doesn't suck. The other stuff is trash. Eh, Infiltrator. How good are the one-cost spells in Warlock? I remember they were fairly good because you get Shadow Council off of it. That was a really high one right on Spellkin. I don't, I'm not that surprised. That's what I would have picked by default. Cool. Rust Sword and a shit. It's a decent uh, arena card. Good arena card. Uh, another Felbot. Felbolt over the trash. Is Heroic Innkeeper actually good in arena? I think uh, this tier score is a little bit high. Mm, Dalaran Librarian is a 2 mana 2 3. Evasive Chimera is bad against Demon Hunter, but we don't care about that, do we? Flame It versus Pit Crocolisk. Could use a big card. It's a nice big tempo card. Ooh, Imprisoned Scrap Imp. That thing is still insane, I take it. Even post nerf. We could actually do the Shadow Council Scrap Imp Hand Lock deck. Uh, 2 mana, 2 3. 5 mana, 5 5. Whatever. Oh, Twin Tyrant. Normally I would pick Troll Bat Rider. However, we seriously need a 3 drop. Oh, well, it's true. We do need a 3 drop, but do we need one that badly? Now I think uh, Troll Bat Rider is an insane card. Incredible value. I also don't have that many fours. When you look at the fours, I only have a Cult Master. I mean, I have only Bone Rift because Cult Master doesn't count. So we're low on threes and fours. I'm looking to pick up both of them. I'm gonna go with Troll Bat Raider. Another Centric Scrub. Yep. Scrap Guard Colossus, I was going to say. Rocket Og Merchant, though. Whew. That is a uh, opposite ends of the value spectrum here. Go Colossus. And I think this is extremely close. Extremely close. I don't think I agree with Boom Pistol Bully here. How much does Balakrai Denial ever even really matter here? I guess Safeguard isn't really that good when I really look at it. Could use another five. Ethereal Og Merchant, Gobble Glide Tech. Why is a three oh. <laughs> I was like, why is this 85? It's a 3 mana 3-3, three, three. it's because I have literally zero 3 drops. That's gotta be Ethereal Log Merchant. Eh, oh, Soulfire Hippogriff, this is kind of a tough call. I did need more 4 drops. Hippogriff's a pretty good one. I'm gonna go Hippo. Oh my god, Wisp might be the right pick. There is a few synergies. There are a few synergies. You have the, uh, you have the Evil Genius, you have the Plague of Flames. I legit think that the right pick is Wisp. It's not even... I don't think it's that good of clickbait. It's just... This is the best pick. Uh, it's another Hippogriff, I think. Hey, look, it's a 3-drop. <laughs> the last pick. Look at all the synergies. Cult Master, Evil Genius, Unstable, Fellball. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. We'll take it over the trash. I think it'll play out as pretty much a mid-range deck where if I make it to late game, I will probably beat most people with the life tap ability. So this deck should be played fairly fast for tempo because if I tie, 
Going into the late game, I should win. Oh, well, look at that. One, two, three to start off the day. One, two, three, four. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, OP. But actually, the evasive chimera is really good against that. Imagine having to use an evasive chimera to deal with a one drop, but what can you do? Dormant cards are just really good. I think I'm going to keep my guy hidden because there's not that high benefit to attacking for two. If something were to happen to my Chimera, like an Og Merchant or something, I would want this to stay hidden. Mind if I roll need? And even if this trade happens, I wouldn't necessarily want to trade this away. Hey, I think we live by the curve here. I think right now, the trades I have offered against the Loot Hoarder are not worth the two damage to the face. I'd rather give away my 1-1, one, one, or trade the 2-3 into the 2-1, than give up the Worgen Infiltrator. Okay, that's fine. They basically use the card to kill my Worgen Infiltrator, is the way I would view that. Actually, good time for Troll Batrider. Alright. The Worgen is safe. Book Griff to uh, protect the Batrider. I want to play Wrapped Golem onto a safe board next turn, so I'm not going to coin out a two drop. This is how you catch a dragon. I was thinking how salty I'd be if uh, that had gotten a dragon for him. Well, the plan has pretty much been followed. I'm even on tempo, actually, ahead by a significant amount even. Uh, so going to late game where I can tap, uh, I should have the clear advantage, especially since I have a huge health pull. Not actually a very good grave room target. Did I not tap there? <laughs> That's an insanely high price I've valued my health total at there. Way too high. 
Sometimes when you're thinking about other things, you forget things. Sometimes I forget things. Twin Tyrant is disgusting, by the way. I've been holding a dragon this whole time. Twelve damage plus the one from Rain of Fire. Four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ah, oh, missed tap. Uh, Vase of Chimera is actually pretty good against Priest with no easy way to deal one damage, but we don't need it early. Two drop, three drop. Four drop. I just realized the first game I didn't tap a single time. New challenge, no tapping. Priest. That's a good start by him. Oh, that's a good card. Bone Wraith currently looks like it kills all of their cards. I think Bone Wraith is good play here. I think Tap Imp is too slow. Oof. I hate to see it. And I think this is a troll Batrider 50-50. Yep, if I miss, I still can deal, you know, 3-3 three, three deals of the 4-3 in theory. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, we got a full tempo here. Tempo, tempo, tempo. We will hold the oh. Thank you for existing, Plague of Flames. And then we've got some uh, pretty insane cards coming up. Oh, I see a four health minion there. Oh, only one. Whatever. Coming on turn 10. It's the good old play a guy, kill a guy. Stay ahead. Now there's an interesting question. Like, I don't have to play the Scrapyard Colossus. Because we might be afraid of mind control. I'll tap and play a Wrapped Golem. I'm far enough ahead that I can tone it down a little bit. Oh, it's mind control. I would say I'm surprised, but I'm not. No one runs two MC in their deck. <laughs> We'll zoo open here. 
Oh. That's an interesting question. What's better to lead off with, a 2-1 or a 2-2? Two -two? Either way, they died at the 2-3 when coined. The opponent did a full keep. I think I'll play the 2-1. Because my plan was mostly going to be the tap the next turn anyways, and not actually develop anything. Because it looks like turn 3 might be tap plus uh, battle mage. Um, do I attack here? I think better to stay hidden, because it's one credit towards Plague of Flames. I don't think this deck is ever outracing a hunter, so I have to just board control them. Okay, that's a good draw. Um, I don't want to feed the Blazing Battle Mage, so I'm just going to play Evasive Chimera. This is kind of similar to the um, Priest game, where they play an imprisoned homunculus, and it stared down my poison. I might just save Battle Mage in my hand as one Plague of Flames credit. Similar to how Priest is one of Warlock's natural prey, Hunters are the predator of Warlock because Steady Shot counters Life Tap. I think this is a decent Razor Fin Hunter play Go Flames play. Get him. Yep. Man, look at that Razor Fin Hunter go. E. Okay, we got our big guys coming up. Six, seven, eight. The light protects me. Get these off of me. My two two is currently dying for free to the two three. So should I play the Broodmother to protect her? Or should I play the stronger eccentric scribe? I think the Broodmother is better because you kinda add the 2-2 two -two in stats due to it surviving. This is a strong card against that board. If I'm looking for pure tempo, a 4-6 ton is better than a 6-4 also. Hmm. Hey there, Wisp. I will keep you for the Shadow Council. And then I got my uh, pair of Tempo 8s. Much tempura here. Very delicious. Cards in hand are too good to shut out council right now. I've got a huge card. Okay, I think Hippogriff on the 2 4 is right. Yeah, boom pistol while I'm at it. Waste a bunch of damage, but. We're safe! Lethal, didn't I? Yep. It's just, you see a 5 health minion on it, it's like, oh yeah, of course the instinct is to kill it. Perfect kill right there with the Pit Crocolisk. And the Hunter's health, it's like, that's way too high to do the math on if my board adds up to.
Anyone else do that? I'm not the only one. Okay, punch, punch. That's a uh, plus six. They're at thirteen. That's lethal. Okay, Evil Genius is a sad to drop because it needs a friend, but it is a really good card up against a Druid. Unstable Fell Bolts, decent removal. It's like holy smite. I'm going second also. So at worst it goes one for one. I think Genius is too good a card. I think I throw Felbolt to have a higher chance of drawing into something that I can evil genius away. Mm, Felbolt's better than the average card. How many cards are better? Wisp, Bellmage, um Merchant. Info I, I couldn't think of enough. There's there's like about ten it's like right in the middle of whether I should keep it or not. It's this it's safe to keep it, it's higher variance to throw it away. Uh, you can keep it knowing that you have no early plays, I suppose. Alright, in this game the Chimera is worthless, but I can't coin it out since he has the hero pair. Alright, pass. It looks like it's gonna be a turn 2 tap, turn 3 tap fell bolt, maybe. Uh, evasive Chimera is just like a, a really bad 1 mana 2 1 against the Druid. Ha! Okay, so they didn't have a turn 2 or 3 play, which means if I play Evasive Khmer, I'd probably ruin their play. So it is very tempting to play him right now. The chances they have no 4 drop, really small. Uh, but I'm just gonna coin out the genius alongside this. Just feed it. Hmm. But there is a real consideration. And the opponent... Nah, nah, I... Yeah, let's just eat it. I think the turn 3 play was definitely debatable and a tough call. Cult Master can draw 2 right now. That's pretty good. That was an unfortunate 2 drop. Highly incentivized to play Scrap Imp as early as I can, but also just want to play on Curve, so Scribe on 6 probably. Ooh. Ooh. That was a mis- probably a mistake not to attack? Alright, let's, let's do that. Taunt also. Clearly has no direct damage. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Go full tempo because I have a Cult Master in play. Otherwise I would have played Scrap in. Oh. Mm, I think Soulfire is solid here. Tempo, tempo. Play the 6 drop. Uh, we still have the same base plan. Or if I get into late game, I should win. At even. Or even slightly behind. Oh, sorry, Imp. You were too slow, buddy. Hmm, must have a 7 drop. Let's see a lot. Sick twin tyrant here. Disgusting card! And the question is Wisp or not? I think Wisp provides very little benefit right now. I think it would be better held for the Plague of Flames or Shadow Council. Your feeble magic amuses me. 
And these, uh, this Pit Crocolisk Twin Tyrant team has been slain, though. Doe. Alright, is Meshiffin Prime here? I don't actually know what Meshiffin Prime does, truth be told. Oh, found your vanguards here, though. That's pretty rough. Okay, that is the 10th damage, so that's pretty good. So we're at the part of the game where uh, Warlock wins on the back of the tapping, so that's good. Ah, it's 10 mana, 18, 18. Right. It's pretty scary. Mm. Cards good. Good cards, Drew. Good cards. Good play. Good play. Tap. But can you beat my tapping? Four six in the four four, two six in the two two is really good. Woof. The outer cards though. Okay, time to decide. Are these cards better or worse than a average demon of plus two plus two? And do I want to tap before shadow canceling? I think the rest of my deck, they're all better than a random demon. Every single one of these cards is worse than a random demon in this situation, so go! Okay, Mad Summoner is uh, favored for me. Okay, it's actually even, but I get a 6-6, six, six, so what can you do? Oh, actually, I should just not play it. I should play this. Yeah, that's better. Okay, question, is the 4-6 useful to trade with? If I don't trade, 5-5 five, five goes in the 4-6. What is the current way he would attack? 5-5-3-3 five, five, three, three into 6-8? Uh, I think this is good. I think that makes his trading more difficult. The 5-5 five, five and the hero power into this is the thing I don't want to do, so... We'll make that trade impossible. Nice. Take that! I don't want the 3-1 to go into the 4-3, so... Here's another trump trade. A simple spell. One shot, one kill. I can't win them all. Do I want a 1 mana 2 1 deal 1 damage against a hunter? What well, the chances that 1 damage does anything? No one plays 1 health minions, right? It's kind of like the theory of keeping Mortal Coil in your opening hand. But then again, do you just keep a 1 mana 2 1 in your opening hand? I feel like the answer is try to fish for a card I would play it. Um, but admittedly, I don't actually know the right answer. Mm, Wisp on turn 1 is okay. So I didn't want a 1 mana 2 1, so instead I'll get the 1 mana 1 1. But what can you do, right? Should I even play it, is the question. Is it better as a card in my hand for Plague of Flames and Shadow Council? This card has no support, it's gonna like do absolutely nothing. I'm just gonna pass. Evil Genius, yeah. I'll keep it as utility. You're trash. You're literally trash, but at least in trash you can be useful. Oh no, you couldn't dealt with that. Get in there, Wisp. Oh. Oh. Yeah, this hand sucks. Go. Woo. Uh, Silas Watcher or Morg Artificer. 
I'm never going to play my next draw. It's always Pit Lord next. I think some... I think I've played this card before, like, there's bigger spells out there. Because both of these would die by 3 damage. I wanted to hit face so I could play Felwing for free. But I guess I'll skip. He didn't play Deadly Shot, and I kind of feel like he would have on a 4 6. And the Primordial Explorer is technically an answer. Four mana, seven, eight. Uh, so the secret was important enough to coin out. Uh, I'm suspicious enough not to attack. And it's big fat. 9-11. Sure, send the little guy. I think it's 2-2-2 two, two, two here. No, no, I attack with the Bone Wraith in the face and I play this for 2. 2-2-2. Two. Two, two, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For this first. What do I want on top? Next turn is seven. I'm playing Boom Pistol Bully. Uh, we want Pit Crocodile's gun eight. Yeah, I think Shadow Cancel is really insane in Arena. Complete hand buff of plus two, plus two. Onto what may normally be subpar cards. Mm. Equals success? Mm. Hate to see that, but boy is Bone Reef doing well there. Yeah, uh, Chimera's actually doing pretty well too. It means Pit Lord at least got value. Pit Commander will always get Scrap Imp. Not too bad. Though I think the opponent has two Freezing Traps in their deck. I mean, I have this taunt. It's pretty big. He didn't have Destroy a Random Minion. That's fine. Okay. If I knew 100%, that that was a freezing trap. I wouldn't have made the attack, but you can never know. And in theory, this still seems safe. It's just, uh, you know, it would be the same decision this next turn, except harder because I would have a 9-11. These cards suck. Oh, that card is really good against me. Oh, really good patience for him not playing it on the, uh, Aranassi Broodmother. Alright, Hunter. You have hunted me down. Okay. Wow. 
Yeah, it was kind of unlucky that the opponent had Baroness and Hunter's Mark. Alright, that was a big hand. Come back later, buddies. Oh, it's more like it. So against Paladin, the 2-2 two -two might actually be better than the 2-1. Uh, because they can actually get a 1-1 one -one out. The stealth just has um, more utility because sometimes you are unable to finish off a 3 health minion. Especially as Warlock. But I'll play Battle Mage here. And if he plays a 2 mana 2-3 two, taunt, we'll be a little bit sad. But I'll probably just um, coin out the Hippogriff then. Oh, there it is. Blah. Uh, I don't want 4 damage on my Hippogriff, I'll just play that. No hand of a doll, please. Thank you. Yeah. So I really don't want to play Hippogriff just to have him be able to kill it with the sword, but well, what can you do here? I will just be sad. This hand makes me sad. It makes me happy on turn 8, but right now it's making me sad. A simple spell. <sighs> okay. A simple spell. Never surrender would be obnoxious, wouldn't it? Can you get a spell? Four, seven, ten, eleven damage on the board. All right. That is only in theory. Should have done this first. No, no, no it would have been fine. Um, do I have a dragon? I do. Sweet. I was originally planning to use those lackeys with Plague of Flames. Unlucky six drop. By moon and spear. This is fine. Reporting for duty. Obey. Okay, so it's simple. I just have to have nothing ever hit my face. A good explorer comes prepared. 
That is top two. Oh my god. Which one's better? Gotta be this one. And then we follow up with that one. I got bad luck on that one too. I could have played this first. No, I probably want the health on this. I could have played a 3366 that that 410 didn't die if I was willing to take 3 damage on this. Got so many junk minions, but I don't have anything fast left, I think. Two five nine, yeah. All right, it's done. Womp womp. Oh. The next draw is so good. Flesh for steel. Dang, even if he makes the worst trades possible, he'll still win. No, that's not true. If he makes the worst trades possible, I could win. Yeah. I am only more deep. Oh! I should have tapped! Might have gotten an Aranasi. Um... Oh, but I put the golem on top. Yes, that wouldn't have worked. But that would have been a good combo. Uh, place the Aranasi on top and then tap, but that didn't get offered. Do not want the 2-1 to trade into a 1-1. 3-1, one, one. One, we can do that. Thinking about tempo versus value here. First yeah, I'll just play this. Probably follow Cult Master. The Sand Wasp is actually really hard to uh, deal with. I guess the dream is he plays one Sand Wasp and pushes the button. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. My next plays are all good, so I should tap to dilute the pool first. Basically, I hope that the line of five, six, seven, eight is good enough. Can I do better than that? Yes, this five drop isn't the best. And the six drop is a little slow. Cool. A simple step. Fireball ready. Ooh. Good play to make if I think my hand is not good. I mean, first of all, I definitely want to quill the two one. get a lackey and play it that's not worth it okay wheel of fortune Wonderful. i don't need a minion that big right now i think we play the slow guy a weary traveler. and then if he plays any uh, small guys we play priestess of theory to wipe them out your presence offends me 
I'm afraid there will be no one health minions to clear my 9-1 here. Oh, 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 oh. oh, nice. That seems very fair. 14 14! Oh, you tickled my priestess. I'm thinking that I play Twin Tyrant, and then that kills the tiger. Um, oh, I also get to play a free Frenzied. Full demon board is ready to get buffed for plus one attack. Is it a demon? Wow, it is. I don't think I've ever seen this thing before. A warden always hits her ah! <laughs> wow. Awesome. Disgusting. Start getting our bear tr Wait, there's no no nah, unstable fell ball is just super dumb. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, let's get value over time with bear troop. The one drop to protect. Abyssal Supreme is also value over time. Oh my god, Scrapyard Colossus, the dream. Eccentric Scribe is also pretty good, and of course you can't forget this. Mm, nice. The battle is over. You win. Yeah, I think I just purposely try to keep the worst cards, which is uh, probably these. And then just Shadow Council on turn one. Alright. Oh god! Okay, well, change of plans, huh? Change of plans! Point Imp. Cancel the next turn. For four. Yeah, 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 that's that's good. I can't move. That's really good. This used to be the basis of my constructed decks. We brought it to Arena. It's insane. It was so good it had to get nerfed. Play it now, I get a 3-5. Play it next turn, I get a 5-4. Is 5-4 that much better than 3-5 on turn 3? I think I follow up with Felguard and then Felguard. No, I want to play Imprisoned Felmon. I can wait. I think I go Voidwalker, Felmon on turn 3, turn 4. Gonna start playing these fell guards, which are gonna kill my mana crystals or whatever. Because I don't want to play fell guard on turn three, even though it is a seven eight fell guard. <laughs> All right, prepare for a fair game. Wow. Okay. Whatever. We got you to burn it. <laughs> I'll clear that in case he has another one of those. Also, we want Doggy to hit the right person. I might cry if he beats this hand. It's a 9 8 coming out. Oh, that would be interesting not to attack, hoping this hits that. But he needs to get through the taunt, right? Yeah. Alright, 9 to the face. Pow! Pyroblast! Repeatable. Here, I have another. Gross. Well, I concede. 
Okay. Got the priest matchup again. Invasive Chimera is too early, even though good against priest. Ooh, scrap it. Pray we draw a Shadow Council. That'd be nice. Aww. Nice. Good draw. They had to nerf Imprisoned Scrap Imp because of my Shadow Council Imprisoned Scrap Imp deck. It was that good. Strong opening from the opponent. Pretty good. Actually, he might have been hoping to hit the Bone Wraith. Stuffed. Okay, first of all, I'm thinking about if I trade or not. He thought about revealing it, but chose not to. He didn't hit my face. He plans to use it for trading. I think he'll chicken out and trade. But suppose he hits me off the face. That's probably okay. I have the catch up. So let's go. Ah! You bamboozled me. Plague of Flames. Ever jousted a dragon? Perfect pit crocolus target. But, that's actually still not enough. Fortunately, priests don't have any methods of direct damage, so I'm not too afraid being at 5 health. Oh, womp womp. His best choice was a 1-1, one, one. holy crap. Really? Is that possible? Three one ones? One of them might have a zero attack. I don't think I want to discard Scrapyard Colossus. Okay, if I discard Scrapyard, we Shadow Cancel. Okay, therefore... No, yes? No, you're doing well. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I might actually be okay with this, though. What's the 2-1 kill? Is it the 3-5 or the 7-5? Okay, if I kill the 7-5, I'd die. 
So I have to kill the three five. That should upgrade, probably. Time for some twin tyrant praying. Oh. Attack first? Yes. Oh! Oh my god, I'm favored now! Oh my god, I'm super favored. Do I tap? I don't tap. I don't shadow cancel either. It's actually a decent card. Okay, what cards would I shadow cancel? That's one of them. Now the other question is... Do I shadow cancel only one card? I think I'll just save this. So basically, everything Hippogriff and under, I'll shadow cancel away. If it is Hippogriff, that's gonna be close. Troll Barry, that's... The random damage is pretty bad right now. Alright, here we go. Oh, well, that's uh, not as bad as it looks. Actually, I mean, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? They're low cost, which is bad. But it's a Vile Fiend, which is good. Oh my god. I'm going to always have seven arena wins. It is finished. It's my curse! <gasps> always stuck at winning exactly seven games. Uh no evasive Khmer. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> What? More? No, stop. Stop. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, saved. Oh my god. This is suddenly so good. <laughs> Step up. Oh, so saved. Wisp has just saved this entire run. that are unplayable right now. From here I can curve six six eight. And then the six can be played as an unstable fell bolt if something is really spooky. So I think I've got it. Despite drawing the nightmare eight ten six. I mean, that is an imprisoned scrap, though, so that's kind of scary. Hmm, Law Order? Those are spells, right? No, Warlock cards, so those uh, actually get buffed by Imp. Alright, but I start off with a 6 drop. And a 2 1 of Taunt. Yeah, 
it would work if he uh, dormant hit Scrap Imp again, but that's awfully slow because he would just take uh, would have taken 12 more damage from the Scrap. Scrap. I was gonna say Scrap Imp, but Ooh. say protect the Orc trade. Hmm. What was the best possible? I think I didn't want to hit the Divine Shield. Right. Well, no, the Temple Berserker was only one attack. Then that was like super neutral. Oh, the the worst one would have been not hitting the Orc. Oh, you served your purpose. It's gonna be Boom Pistol Bat Rider. Turn Colossus. Easy game. Would you help a weary traveler and be free? Impressive. You win this time. You ask for it. Let's have some fun. <laughs> Wisp is a real team player. Getting discarded, getting sacrificed, getting transformed. Amazing. Thrall the mage. Okay. I believe this is yeah, it's it's coin imp. And then keep all the minions. Coin imp, um tap, and then tap infiltrator probably. Ooh, tempo play. Let him get a few free punches in. But at four, we've got uh, fast cards, defensive cards. Um, that's a good card to just play instead of tapping. So where does the magic come from? Run! I will hold them off. Fifty-fifty. Well, it's good no matter which one it hits. Nice. Oh, we got buff. That bad for us. Three eight. Oh, right. And left. Hey, one damage. Uh, four plus four equals eight. I'm a genius. You're paying for my discretion. Oh, two ones survived. Turn it in for cash money right now. Yes. Oh, that's even better. Isn't it? Yes. Tempo tempo. That Twin Tyrant has done some uh, pretty heavy carrying. 50 50! Yes! Hmm. Check one, two. Check one, two. Actually not thrilled. It's the least bad one I could have checked with. I think that's scarier than the th yeah, it's definitely scarier than the three three. Back to my two one. Oh, that's a good card. Can play go flames it away. 
That's a good play. I think I want to throw in a tap with it, so I should play Bully instead of Scrub. Yes. This is one of those games where it wins into late game or we're even. So I tap each turn and then I win. What a tragedy! Better write this down. Okay, this uh, hand is subpar. But no reason to play it now. I can wait to draw a few more cards. One more card. I think I should tap first before cancel. It's really close though. Yeah, tap first. I have 10 mana. 5 mana, 5 5. That's trash. Wow. It's a little disappointing. What have they done to me? Cool. That's gonna wake up deal two damage to all enemy minions. Sometimes a fire blast. They're out of a hand. So it's game over for him. I think we stop tapping. I'll play this. God, the flame strike would be such a comeback. Whatever. is hoping he'll fire blast this so I can get rid of it. It's actually a little bit scary that he did not fire blast my 4-4. <laughs> it means he thinks he can uh, do something with that. Supreme Abyssal, you were created for this. Wait, I might get the plus two, huh? Wait, that's a two, three. Um, still good? Card's actually decent. Less and then face. Then the little guy. No evil genius. No tap. You can't keep top decking big answers. Ha! There we go. Need to play that turn one two one. When getting your whole hand plus two plus two is insane. Hit it. Job's done. 
done. Well, it's looking pretty good. By the holy light. Hiya, Curve that guy up. I do want a one damage dealer on top. Yeah, let's tempo this guy out. Fine. Oh, I like that one. Too bad. Oh, that thing's actually big enough to take out all my guys. Oh no, blood him! Saved. Oh, I took out the right guy right now. Blah. Oh, saved! What are you gonna do this game? We've already shadow counseled. Mm. I probably should have played it right there. Evil genius. Yeah. Sure, send the little guy. Can take the hit for a soul fire, can randomly take the hit for unstable fell bolt. Uh, I think I have enough board anyways right now. I think Wisp can be a cheerleader. Very curvy. Discover a four cost card. Have the mana to play it. My shield. Oh. <laughs> it might be time for the Wisp pinch hitter to uh, maybe take an unstable fill bolt. You got this, boy. I want to throw the battle mage in there too. Yeah, I really don't want. All right. Wisp, please. Tough board to deal with. Twin Tyrant finally has too much to deal with. Good luck, anyways. Oh. Woohoo! I have so many cards. Ah! It's over for me. But two of the cards are Sand Wasp Queen, aren't they? It's not that scary. 12 12 is very scary though. Okay. Nine wins, I guess. There are some very exciting ones in the middle. Get a Colossus! Go! Colossus would have still lost. It would have probably been even more disappointing. Alright. Okay, nine wins. Not bad.
I don't know if this is fair to say, but I feel like my arena so far, we've done four of them, I feel like I've uh, had the low end of arena drafts. I'm way better than average, do you think? This deck was solid at worst. I mean, a solid average? Solid means a little above average. Okay. Then we're not unlucky. That's fine. 